now we are going to apply an Una boot. She starts at the foot. And what is an Una boot for, Cindy? An Una boot actually is going to help the patient be able to establish the better blood flow from the lower extremity back up out of the area where it needs to be. Now, the key about an Una boot is that you want to make sure that that person that you're applying the Una boot to is able to move. An Una boot is what's called a short stretch. And in order for a short stretch to work, you have to work. It has a very low resting compression. So you're going to get all of your compression, and you're going to get the bulk of the work done when you're working with it. Another very important um, thing to remember when doing an unaboot is that you want to make sure that you get all the wrinkles out. Because if you leave wrinkles in there, one of the um, specific features about the unaboot is its rigidity. And so you don't want that getting hard and hardening on there and having those wrinkles because then you could cause problems. When you say move, what does that mean? Does that mean that a patient can wear an Una boot if they just move from the bed to the chair? No. They have to actually be mobile. In other words, they're going to have to ambulate because when they ambulate, as they're ambulating, the contraction, the rigidity of the boot forces the contraction of the muscle inward, which pushes against the valves, the veins, actually forcing the one-way bicuspid valves open and thereby moving the blood up and out of the area. Okay. Well, great. So it's very important, again, that you make sure that you have no wrinkles. And I don't see any wrinkles from my direction. Do you, audience? No. Now, you're going to continue up the extremity, making sure that you have no wrinkles. You don't want to apply with any kind of tension. How does this feel to the patient? It feels uh, soft, a little cool because of the... Uh the ointment, and cool, it's soothing. Oh, that's great. It fits like a glove. Now, how far do you go up? You always want to wrap to about one inch below the knee. One inch below the knee, okay. Any excess that you have, you can go ahead and cut off. And you can secure that because it will actually stick to itself. This one is a zinc oxide base. Oh, okay, wow. so we're wrinkle-free. That is great. Okay, with this particular spoon of boot, we're going to be putting on a co-band. But we're only going to be putting that on to a half stretch. So what we're going to do is come back over the area that we've already applied, where we've applied the unit, and then we're going to bring the co-band and we're going to bring it about 50%. Okay, there's 100%, then I come back halfway, and then I'm going to continue. Can you do that again? I don't think the camera saw it. Pull, show us the stretch again. When you do the stretch, you want to come out. You're only going to do this at 50%. So when you do a coban, you bring it out 100 just to kind of get an idea of where you're at, and then bring it back halfway, which is going to give you that 50%. Oh, Okay. Is that a tighter fit to you when this is going on? Yes, it's a little tighter. Okay. Now remember also, you want to just come 50% over. So you're going to have 50% tension, and you're going to be going half, or covering half of, of the previous wrap. So as you can see, as I come around, what I'm doing, when I pull back and I release the tension, I'm covering exactly half of where I had covered before of the previous round. Beautiful. Again, maintaining a wrinkle-free application. We don't see wrinkles from our angle, do we, Ian? No. No. This is great. And how far do we go with this? Again, you're only going to go to about one inch below the knee. Now, here's the key. We are going to have excess, excess left over like we typically do with some of these. You don't want to keep wrapping that around because it's like applying a tourniquet. So you're going to cut off the unused portion, and you're going to secure it with tape. OK? 
Okay. This is great. Well, now we have actually seen an Una boot application along with a Duke boot.